Hey everyone, welcome to the Fishers Hill Battlefield. This battle was fought September 22nd of 1864. It is part of the 1864 Shenandoah Valley Campaign uh, conducted by General Philip Sheridan of the Union Army. The reason there's a battle here, here is because on September 19th of 1864 there is a battle outside of Winchester known as the Battle of Third Winchester. At that battle, Philip Sheridan defeats General Jubal Early's Army of the Valley and drives them some 20 miles back to this point. Uh, right now we're probably one or two miles southwest of the town of Strasburg. The reason Early retreats to this point, if I pan around, is it's a very defensible position. It's very good. Uh, troops can be lined up here. It's anchored well. The problem is Early does not have the troops to anchor this position. Sheridan actually outnumbers him three to one at this battle. Early's troops on the, his right flank is anchored by the Shenandoah River, which is over here. You can't really see it just across the interstate, uh, and that's the Mass Nut Mountain in the background there. But his troops are anchored by the Shenandoah River on that side, so attack, an attack is not going to come on that side. It's going to come off to our left. Early's troops are should be anchored by this mountain here, the Little North Mountain. The problem is his troops don't quite reach all the way up the slope. They just reach the bottom of the slope of Little North Mountain. This enables Sheridan to come up with a plan that he's going to flank Jubal Early. He entrusts uh, General George Crook uh, to do this flank march. And then on at around 1 o'clock, he's going to attack in front of us here what's known as the bullpens. These are little makeshift uh, fence rails covered with earth that the Confederates have constructed. And the reason that Sheridan's attacking is to distract early, keep his attention in front of him while Crook makes this flank march. As Crook makes this flank march, uh, he gets in position around 4 p.m. And at 4 p.m., he makes his attack. There's cavalry on the left side, and, there's, and it's very little resistance. As Crook makes his attack, he drives the cavalry in, the left flank begins to crumble. As it continues to crumble, the other core of Sheridan's army start hitting Early's troops and driving them from this position. Again, this is a great defensible position, but he does not have the troops to hold it. As Early is driven from the field, he is going to retreat 70 miles all the way to the city of Woods, or, I'm sorry, Waynesboro, uh, Virginia, which is in Augusta County. Ironically, uh, later in 1865, that will be where Early's last battle uh, in the valley is. But uh, he's driven from the field. This is going to open up the Shenandoah Valley to Phil Sheridan. He is then going to march all his way all the way to Stanton. And from there, he's going to do a retrograde movement. Now, when you're marching uh, towards Stanton in the Shenandoah Valley, you're actually marching up the valley. Contrary to what it looks like on the map, that's up toward Winchester is down. Once he gets to Stanton, his retrograde movement is going to be called the burning. He's going to turn around. He's going to send out uh, different columns into Page County, Rockingham County, Augusta County. He's going to come up along the Little North Mountain on the back road, and he's going to continue to push all the way to Winchester. And by doing that, he is burning the crops, the barns, everything in sight that he can get, taking livestock and pushing them uh, north. And the reason he's doing this is to keep, one, subsistence from the Confederate Army. Keep, keep them out of here. You know, if they can't uh, have food and things to support an army here, they can't also use it as an invasion route. So that would be point two of why they're doing this. Uh, the North had been invaded several times, three times to be exact, through the Shenandoah Valley. Uh, the Battle of Antietam, the Battle of Gettysburg, and the Battle of Monocacy all occurred because... Confederate forces were able to use the Shadow Valley as a shield and come around and, and invade the north. So making this a desolate land is going to stop the Confederates from being able to use it as a uh, point of, a, of invasion. After that, uh, Sheridan will move on down uh, toward Richmond to assist Grant, uh, but that's going to end really the threat here in the Shenandoah Valley. There will be another battle up just up the road at Cedar Creek in October, but the damage has already been done by that time. Uh, so if you get the chance to come out to Fisher's Hill, it's a really cool place. Uh, very, very awesome battlefield saved by the Shenandoah Valley Battlefields Foundation. Uh, so I hope you get to come out, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view. 
Um, it is just gorgeous, uh, especially on a day like today. And I've got my little battlefield sidekick with me. Uh, so keep chasing history. Keep saving battlefields. Thank you for watching.